Welcome back to Inside the Vandals. The women's soccer team off to a rough start as this young team looks to gain some experience. Ryan Pavel with the story. It was a difficult weekend indeed for the Idaho women's soccer as they kicked off against the Eastern Washington Eagles at home Friday evening. The Vandals struggled to find the back of the net, having 11 shots towards goal, but none finding the back of their targets. The Eagles, on the other hand, capitalized on their opportunities, putting in three goals of their own along with a Vandal own goal. The final result was a 4-0 loss, leaving them looking ahead at another tough opponent, taking on the Gonzaga Bulldogs in Spokane Sunday afternoon. But the cards would still not fall in their favor as the Bulldogs shut out the Vandals 5-0, led by two goals from Gonzaga senior Carly Baggerly, the older sister of Idaho freshman Olivia Baggerly. Idaho is now sitting at an 0-4-0 record. Though Idaho has had some rough breaks at the beginning of the season, new coach Derek Pittman, who was coaching a very young squad of 10 freshmen and only two seniors, still has hope. We got to get better defensively. We got to be more organized. We got to be more patient and disciplined 1v1. Uh, but then we've also got to be better on the attack. We've got to be able to keep the possession faster. We have to work on transition. Once we win it defensively, we got to transition faster onto the attack and play with a little bit more urgency going forward and hunger to score goals. The Vandals now look ahead next week to a big in-state rivalry game at home against the Boise State Broncos. Kickoff is Friday, September 5th at 4 p.m. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Ryan Pavel. Now it's time for Campus Connection, where we take a look at what's happening around the Idaho campus. And for the incoming freshmen, they had quite a welcome with Sean Astin, or Sam Wise Gamsey from Lord of the Rings, welcoming them into the University of Idaho. Nick D'Amico had the story. You are part of a great history, which you've seen, a great institution, and now you are vandals. Go vandals. New University of Idaho President Chuck Sabin made quite the impact on incoming freshmen, but he didn't even stand a chance when it came to actor Sean Astin, who welcomed vandals at this year's convocation. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Sean Astin. Sean Astin used some of his most memorable roles as an actor to bring the students an inspirational message. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Can you hear me? I see you all over there. Hello. Famous for his role as Samwise Gamgee in Lord of the Rings, Aston explained the power of friendship. Samwise, uh, the brave, is an archetype for the epitome of friendship and loyalty and bravery and decency and courage and righteousness. And I um, invite you to learn from Sam what I learned, and that is that those qualities are attainable Maybe not every minute of our lives, but a lot of them. So I encourage you to cultivate loyalty and friendship. Aston continued to enlighten students by talking about determination in everyday life. I encourage you to choose to live a determined life. You're here at college. Literally make the most of it every single day. You're here. Time is being spent. Build on it. Aston not only spoke to the incoming freshmen, he toured the university campus, talked to students individually, and even stopped by athletics to meet the Idaho volleyball team. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Nick D'Amico. The football team also gave some new freshmen a chance to be a part of the team. Sarah Jacobson with the story on what it takes to be a walk-on. The Vandal football team held walk-on tryouts this week, giving a few new students the chance to make the Idaho team. Over the years, a few walk-on players have made their mark on Idaho football. Players like former walk-on Tom Hennessy earned a scholarship and is the Vandals' current special teams captain. This week, walk-ons like Jeremy Stivers were put to the test both physically and mentally. I had no idea what was going to happen. For the longest time, I was kind of nervous, especially leading up to it like earlier today. I barely ate anything today and I almost puked halfway through it. These players were given only one day on the field to show off their stuff. It was pretty tough to begin with. They did a few drills uh, just having to do with agility, quick footwork. I haven't trained too much in that. I mainly did sprints, but it was just interesting. If the walk-on players make the practice team, they'll work long hours as practice players for the Vandals and may never have a chance to suit up and play. 
But a good work ethic goes a long way, and maybe one day their hard work will pay off as it did for Vandal Tom Hennessy. With Inside the Vandals, I'm Sarah Jacobson. That'll do it for this week's edition of Inside the Vandals. Make sure to tune in every week. Next week, we look back at the Louisiana Monroe game, and we look ahead to the conference home opener against Western Michigan right here in the Dome. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Tom Purvis. See you next week.